the topic of this session is properties of determinants this is a topic in the third module of second semester complementary mathematics properties of determinants so uh, some of some of the properties of determinants <coughs> first first property is that determinant of a of a transpose so this property is <coughs> determinant of if a is a square matrix determinant of a is equal to determinant of a transpose that is determinant of a is equal to determinant of a transpose a matrix and its transpose matrix have same determinant <coughs> transpose of a matrix means interchange the rows and columns of a matrix uh, the matrix then obtained is called the transpose of this matrix both have same determinant example <coughs> a is equal to 1 2 minus 1 3 then a transpose is equal to a transpose is interchange the rows and columns of a a transpose equal to 1 matrix 1 minus 1 2 3 <coughs> so uh, determinant of a is determinant of a is equal to 1 into 3 minus minus 1 into 2 is equal to 5 <coughs> then determinant of a transpose is also equal to 5 so we can uh, <coughs> write the determinant without calculating a and a transpose have same determinant <coughs> uh, another example uh, the a is equal to 1 2 minus 3 2 minus 1 4 5 minus 2 6 then its transpose is a transpose is equal to it is 1 2 5 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 4 6 then this property says that determinant of a this is same as determinant of a transpose <coughs> both have same determinant here determinant of a is <coughs> here uh, determinant of a is equal to it is 1 into it is minus 6 minus 6 plus 8 minus 2 into it is 12 minus 20 12 minus 20 plus minus 3 into minus 4 plus 5 this is equal to 2 plus 16 minus 3 it is 
is equal to 15. So, determinant of A is equal to 15, then determinant of A transpose is automatically it is equal to 15 because they have same determinant. So, we can uh, find the determinant of A transpose without calculating determinant of this because determinant of A transpose is same as determinant of A. Next property of determinants, it is two, two identical rows. <coughs> if a square matrix uh, has two identical rows, that is two rows are same, then determinant of the matrix is zero. Similarly, if a square matrix has two identical columns, then determinant of that matrix is zero. So we can, in 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 that case, we can write the value of the determinant as zero even without calculating. Uh, example: <coughs> the a is equal to this six two two. It is 4, 2, 2, it is 9, 2, 2. So, this uh, square matrix has two identical columns. These two columns are same. Second column is 2, 2, 2. The third column is 2, 2, 2. This square matrix has two identical columns. So, determinant of A is equal to this is equal to 0. <coughs> determinant the expand is here, then we have 0. The determinant is row, row identical, the column is identical, the determinant is 0. Uh, another example is a is equal to 1 minus 2, 5, 2, 3, 4, 1 minus 2, 5. In this case also, uh, this square matrix has two identical rows, 1 minus 2, 5. This row is, the first row is same as the third row. Then uh, value of this determinant, it is, this is equal to, determinant of A is equal to 0. Calculate the error the determinant. Zero on the mukeda Expand the other determinant zero on the Another property is <coughs> zero row or call. Zero row or call. <coughs> if a uh, square matrix has one row completely zeros, then determinant of that square matrix is zero. Similarly, if a square matrix has one column completely zeros, then determinant of that square matrix is zero. Example, a is equal to one minus two, zero zero. Determinant of a is equal to zero. A is equal to 2 minus 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 4, 5, 9. In this case, the second column of this square matrix is, it is a 0 column, completely 0. Then determinant of A is equal to so, if a square matrix has one row completely zeros or one column completely zeros, then determinant of that square matrix is zero. Another property of determinants, interchanging rows, interchanging rows. <coughs> 
if we interchange uh, two rows of a square matrix then uh, the change in the determinant is uh, we have to multiply the original determinant by minus 1 <coughs> that is if b is a matrix b is matrix obtained by interchanging interchanging two rows two rows of a matrix a then determinant b is equal to minus of determinant a similarly if b is a matrix obtained by interchanging two uh, columns of a matrix a then determinant b is equal to minus of determinant a <coughs> for example a is equal to this matrix is 1 minus 2 1 2 3 5 minus 1 0 4 so determinant of this matrix is it is 1 into 12 minus 0 minus minus 2 into 8 minus minus 5 plus 1 into it is 0 minus minus 3 is equal to 12 plus 26 plus 3 it is 21 it is 41 then uh, let b is equal to let b is equal to the matrix it is 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 0 4 2 3 5 here b is obtained from matrix a by interchanging two rows the second row and third row we interchange second row and third row uh, of the matrix a then we obtain the matrix b then then determinant b is equal to determinant of b is equal to this minus determinant of a is equal to it is minus 4. So, uh, without, without expanding, we, we can find determinant, determinant B is equal to minus of determinant A. It is equal to minus 41. Suppose matrix C is, suppose matrix C is equal to, matrix C is, C is equal to uh, 1, 1, 5, 4, minus 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, minus 1. Here, here matrix C is obtained, here matrix C is obtained from matrix A by interchanging the first and the third column. Interchange the first, first column and third column. Then, so if two rows are interchanged, the determinant of C is equal to it is minus of determinant D. It is equal to minus 41. So, so without expanding, we can write determinant of C as minus of 41. So if two rows or two columns are interchanged, then determinant changes sign. Next property of determinant is 
constant multiple of error constant multiple of a constant constant multiple of error <coughs> suppose base matrix obtain by by multiplying by multiplying ith row of a by number k then then determinant of b is equal to it is k into determinant of a in the matrix i throw i throw number k in the number of multiply you know then we obtain the matrix b then determinant of b is equal to k into determinant of a uh, similarly if you multiply a column by a number k uh, row ku pagare column anagil then also determinant of b is equal to k into determinant of a <coughs> examples a is equal to 1 2 1 3 2 minus 2 <coughs> minus 1 1 4 this is the matrix a so its determinant is determinant a is equal to it is 1 into it is 8 plus 2 1 into 10 minus 2 into 12 minus 2 10 plus 1 into 3 plus 2 5 this 10 minus 10 this is equal to minus 5 <coughs> 1 into 8 plus 2 minus 2 into 12 minus 2 10 plus 1 into this determinant of a is equal to minus 5 let b is equal to let the matrix b is it is 1 2 1 minus 6 minus 4 minus 4 minus 1 1 4 <coughs> here b is obtained from a by multiplying the second row by minus the 3 this is this is 4 minus 6 minus 4 4 here the uh, operation that we performed is r2 goes into minus 2 r2 multiply second row by the number minus 2 b is obtained from a by multiplying second row by minus 2 then determinant of b is equal to here we multiply second row by then determinant of b is equal to determinant of b is equal to determinant of b is equal to it is k into determinant of a it is minus 2 into into determinant of a it is minus 2 into minus 5 it is equal to 10 but determinant b the value uh, without expanding and the value number 10 like that second row a minus 2 to multiply them the determinant b is minus 2 into determinant a it is minus 2 into minus 5 this is equal to 10 <coughs> okay, let me uh, c is equal to matrix c is equal to is equal to 1 3 minus 1 2 2 1 <coughs> it is 4 minus 8 16 
matrix C is obtained from matrix A by multiplying the third column by 4. This is the operation that will be performed. It is multiply third column by 3. It is by multiply third column by 4. C3 goes into 4 C3. Then determinant C is equal to determinant of C. Determinant C is equal to this is equal to here we multiply by number 4. 4 into determinant A. 4 into determinant A it is equal to 4 into determinant A is equal to minus 5. This is equal to minus. So we can find the determinant of C without the expanding. Determinant of C is equal to 4 into determinant of C is equal to minus 20. So if you multiply a row by k, then determinant is multiplied by k. Similarly, if you, multi if you multiply a column by k, then determinant is multiplied by the number k. Another property is determinant of a determinant of a matrix product. Determinant of a determinant of a matrix product <coughs> if a and b if a and b are square matrices of same order then determinant of their product determinant a b This is equal to determinant A into determinant B. That is determinant of determinant of A B is equal to determinant of A into determinant of A and B are two square matrices of same order. Then their product. A B determinant of this product determinant A B that is same as determinant A into determinant B. <coughs> For example, A is equal to one minus one two minus three. B is equal to determinant of 2 minus 1, 1, 3. <coughs> Here determinant A is 1 into minus 3, minus 3 plus 2, minus 1. Determinant B is equal to 6 plus 1. It is 7. Now AB is equal to 1 minus 1, 2 minus 3 into 2 minus 1, 1, 3. <coughs> Product of the matrices A and B. Multiply. So, matrix multiplication. You have studied the matrix multiplication. Mul multiply first column of A by first row of A by first column of B. 1 into 2 plus minus 1 into 1. It is 1 into 2 plus minus 1 into 1. First column of A by first row of A by second column of B. 1 into minus 1 plus minus 1 into 3. Second row of A by first column of B. 2 into 2 plus minus 3 into 1. Second row of A by second column of B. 2 into minus 1 plus minus 3 into 3. <coughs> this is equal to this is equal to 2 minus 1, 1. Minus 1, minus 3, minus 4. This is equal to 1. Minus 2, minus 9. It is minus 11. So, uh, 
determinant determinant a b is determinant a b is equal to this minus 11 plus 4 is equal to minus 11 determinant of a into determinant b is equal to it is equal to minus minus 1 into 7 it is minus. so determinant of a b that is same as determinant a into so we verified this property using this example a is equal to uh, 1 minus 1 2 minus 3 b is equal to 2 minus 1 1 three. then a b is 1 minus 4 1 minus 7 determinant a b is minus 7 determinant a into determinant b is minus 1 so this minus 3 <coughs> so uh, for any uh, two square meters of same order for any two square meters of same order, determinant A B is same as determinant A into determinant B. Another property of determinant is determinant is unchanged. Another, another property is determinant is so if we <coughs> If we add a multiple of a row of a matrix to another row, if we add a multiple of a row of a matrix to another row, then, then the determinant is determinant remains unchanged. <coughs> Suppose B is matrix. <coughs> obtained by adding by adding k times k times j row to the i row to i row of a matrix C. Here the uh, operation that will be performed is Ri goes into Ri plus Krg. We add K times J throw to the I throw of the matrix A. Then we obtain matrix B. Then in this case the determinant remains unchanged. That is determinant of B is equal to determinant of when they are the person elementary elementary row operation in the monad operation and the big is the we elementary row operation to implement determinant determinant unchanged determinant to change in a moon elementary transformation first elementary transform interchange two rows then determinant changes sign. Net the property of the Tender row interchange determinant sign change. Random the elementary transformation uh, multiply a row by a number k. In that case, determinant is multiplied by the number k. Uh, row number k the number of multiply angle, determinant of the new matrix is k times determinant of the original matrix in the case of this third elementary tra row transformation determinant remains unchanged determinant b is equal to determinant similarly for columns one column is multiple one column is added then the determinant remains <coughs> Unchanged. <coughs> Example A is equal to 1 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 1, 1, 3, 
minus 2 4 so this is the matrix a so determinant determinant a is equal to so determinant a is 1 into it is minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 into 8 minus 3 5 plus 2 into minus 4 plus 3 minus 1 1 into minus 4 plus 2 plus 1 into 8 minus 3 plus 2 into minus 4 plus 3 this is equal to minus 2 plus 5 minus 2 this is equal to this is equal to 1 now suppose uh, B is the matrix B is the matrix obtained from A Suppose B is the matrix obtained from A by adding 2 times third row to first row. <coughs> we add 2 times third row to the first row. R1 goes into R1 plus 2 R3. So uh, the new matrix B is it is R1 plus 2 R3. R1 goes into first row goes into first row plus 2 times third row. So 1 plus 2 this is 1 plus 2 into 3. 1 plus 2 into 3. This is equal to 7. Minus 1 plus 2 into minus 2. Minus 5. 2 plus 2 into 4. It is 10. Second row is 2 minus 1, 1. Third row is 3 minus 2, 4. We obtained the matrix B from matrix A by this row transformation. Add to first row 2 times third row. Then this property says that determinant of B is then this property says that determinant of B is equal to determinant of B is equal to determinant of A. This is equal to 1. So determinant remains unchanged. Without expanding, expand the other than the determinant value 1 over 2. Then verify the other verify the other determinant B is equal to determinant B is equal to 7 into 7 into minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 plus 5 into plus 5 into it is 8 minus 3 8 minus 3 5 plus 10 into minus 4 plus 3 minus 1 it is minus 14 plus 25 minus 10 it is 25 minus 24 is equal. So we verified this. Verified. Determinant B is equal to on expanding this equal. To. So uh, if this elementary row transformation is or elementary row operation is performed, then the determinant remains unchanged. So this is an example. Similarly, uh, similarly for uh, similarly for column operation <coughs> next property is determinant of a triangular matrix triangular matrix Uh, that is a is equal to a is equal to this is equal to a 1 1 0 0 it is a 2 1 a 2 2 0 0 
etc. It is A n 1, A n 2, etc. n <coughs> This is a lower triangular matrix of order n. This is lower triangular, lower triangular. Lower triangular matrix of order n. <coughs> so, lower triangular matrix means all the elements above the diagonal elements, all the elements above the diagonal elements are 0. This is lower triangular matrix. So, this, so this is so these are the these are the diagonal elements. These are the diagonal elements. A11, A22, A33, etc. An. If all elements above this diagonal elements are zeros, then this square matrix is called a lower triangular matrix. So in the case of this lower triangular matrix, determinant of A is equal to it is the product of its diagonal elements. Determinant A is A11 into A22 into A33 into etc. An. So, in the case of this lower triangular matrix, determinant A is the product of its diagonal elements. Similarly, uh, for an upper triangular matrix of order n. A is equal to is equal to A11 this A12 etc. A11 0 A22 etc. A2 n 0 0 etc. this A3 n 0, 0, etc. An. This is an upper triangular matrix of order. Upper triangular matrix means all the elements below the diagonal elements. All the elements below the diagonal elements are 0. This is a upper triangular matrix. All elements below the diagonal elements of a square matrix are 0. This is upper this is upper triangular matrix. <coughs> then again determinant A is equal to product of the diagonal elements A11 into A22 into etc. N. So, in the case of a lower triangular matrix or the upper triangular matrix, determinant of A is product of its diagonal elements. Upper triangular matrix and the lower triangular matrix, they are called triangular matrices. Upper triangular matrices and lower triangular matrices are called triangular matrix. So, determinant of a triangular matrix is product of its diagonal elements. For example, A is equal to it is 1, 2, minus 3, minus 1, it is 0, minus 1, 4, 0, 0, minus 2. So, this matrix is an upper triangular matrix. All elements below the diagonal elements are zeros. So, then determinant A is equal to, so to find determinant A, we have to multiply the diagonal elements. So, it is 1 into minus 1 into minus 2. So, these are, di these are the diagonal elements, 1 into minus 1 into minus 2 is equal to is equal to 
1 into minus 1 into minus 2 is, is equal to. So, determinant of this triangular matrix is, is equal to, to uh, uh, another example consider A is equal to 1 0 0 2 minus 1 0 3 4 9 So, this is a lower triangular matrix of order 3. This is lower triangular. If you take, uh, take the diagonal elements, all elements above the diagonals are zeros. So, this is a lower triangular matrix. So, this is a determinant A is equal to, it is product of its diagonal elements 1 into minus 1 into 9, it is equal to minus 9. So, to find the, the determinant of a triangular matrix, that means either upper triangular or lower triangular, we have to find, we have to find the product of the diagonal elements, then we obtain determinant of the matrix. Now, <coughs> uh, determinant of a determinant of a diagonal matrix, determinant of a diagonal, determinant of a diagonal matrix. So, uh, diagonal matrix means all the elements above and below the diagonal elements are zeros. That is diagonal matrix. So, a diagonal matrix is both upper triangle and lower triangle. All elements other than diagonal elements are zeros. That is a diagonal matrix. So, a diagonal matrix is both upper triangular and lower triangular. So, determinant of a diagonal matrix is if A is a if A is a diagonal matrix, determinant A is equal to product of product of its diagonal elements. Product of its diagonal elements. Because diagonal matrix is both is both upper triangular and lower triangles. So to find determinant we multiply diagonals. Example A is equal to 1 0 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 6. So this is a this is a diagonal matrix. All elements other than diagonals are zeros. So, this is both upper triangular and lower triangular. So, determinant A is equal to determinant, determinant A is equal to multiply diagonal 1 into minus 2 into 6. This is equal to so determinant of A is equal to minus 2. <laughs> An example for a triangular matrix is of order 4 is A is equal to 3, 0, 0, 2, 6, 0, 0, 5, 9, minus 4, 0, 7, 2, 4, minus 2. So, this is a lower triangular matrix of order 4. If you take the diagonal elements, all elements above the diagonal elements are zeros. So, this is a lower triangular matrix of lower triangular matrix of lower triangular matrix of order 4. So, determinant A is equal to determinant A is equal to for a triangular matrix that is either upper triangular or lower triangular to find determinant we multiply the diagonal elements this is 3 into 6 into 3 into 6 into minus 4 into minus 2 
determinant a is product of the diagonal elements this is equal to this is equal to 18 this is equal to 18 into 8 this value is One one forty. This value is one forty four. So value of this determinant is, is equal to one forty. <coughs> so another example is example is <coughs> evaluate 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 determinant of a determinant of a is equal to 627 minus 4 minus 3 2 2 4 8 by by reducing to by reducing to triangular form by reducing to by reducing to triangular form. <coughs> the question is evaluate determinant of this matrix A 627 minus 4 minus 3 to 248 by reducing this matrix to triangular form. <coughs> so here so A is equal to so determinant so determinant of a this determinant of it is 6 2 7 minus 4 minus 3 2 2 4 8 so this is equal to so in this determinant take the third row 2 is a common factor. So this is in the uh, this is equal to 2 into 1, 2 into 2, 2 into 4. In the third row, 2 is a common factor. So this is determinant of 6, 2, 7, minus 4, minus 3, 2. It is 2 into 1, 2 into 2. It is two into four. <coughs> so here, we have to say that we have to constant multiply and k to multiply and uh, determinant is k into determinant. So, so, so this can be written as two into determinant of six two seven minus four minus three two. 1, 2, 4. We can take this 2 outside. If we multiply a row by a number k, then uh, determinant of the new matrix is k into determinant of the original matrix. So, so here we can take this common 2 outside. So this 2 into determinant of 6, 2, 7, minus 4, minus 3 to 1, 2, 4. Now this is equal to 2 into <coughs> determinant of now we interchange if we interchange two rows if we interchange two rows of a matrix determinant the sign of the determinant will change is equal to is equal to minus 2 into if we interchange two rows of a matrix then in the determinant sign change so this minus 2 into 1, 2, 4, minus 4, minus 3, 2, 6, 2, 7. Here we perform the, uh, here we interchanged first row with third row. So here, so the determinant changes sign. Minus 2 into determinant of 1, 2, 4, minus 4, minus 3, 2, 6, 2, 7.
Now, uh, if we perform the third elementary road transformation, determinant remains unchanged. We study the property that if we uh, if you do the third elementary run, road run, that is if we add multiple of a row to another row, determinant remains unchanged. So uh, we perform this uh, this transformation is this R2 goes into R2 plus 4 R1. R3 goes into R3 minus 6 R1. Then the determinant remains unchanged. This is the third elementary road transformation. In that case, determinant remains unchanged. So it is minus 2 into determinant of 1, 2, 4. R2 goes into R2 plus 4, 4, 4 R1. Minus 4 plus 4 into 1. Minus 4 plus 4 into 1. 0. Minus 3 plus 4 into 2. It is minus 3 plus 8. 5. 2 plus 4 into 4. It is 18. R3 goes into R3 minus 6 R1. R3 minus 6 R1. 6 minus 6 into 1. It is 0. 2 minus 6 into 2. 2 minus 12. Minus 10. 7 minus 24. 7 minus 6 into 4. 7 minus 24. It is <coughs> minus 7. If you do that to row operations, determinant remains <coughs> unchanged. Now, uh, we do another, another uh, row operation, this, make this minus 10, 0. So, R3 goes into R3 plus 2R2. <coughs> now, we have this matrix. This matrix is a triangle matrix. We have to do this 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 matrix. If we add two times second row, so this becomes minus 10 plus 2 into 5. This minus 10 becomes 0. So we perform this, this row operation. If we perform this row operation, then determinant remains unchanged. One row and multiple row like add symbol, determinant remains unchanged. So this minus 2 into determinant of 1, 2, 4, 0, 5, 18. This R3 plus 2 R2, 0 plus 2 into 0, minus 5 plus 2 into 5, 0, minus 10 plus 2 into 5, minus 17, minus 17, minus 17 plus 2 into 18. It is 36 minus 17, is 90. Now, this is a Upper triangle matrix. This is a upper triangle. So it's a triangle matrix. All the elements below diagonals are zeros. So we uh, <coughs> evaluate the determinant is equal to minus 2 into. Now for a triangle matrix, determinant is product of its diagonal elements 1 into 5 into 90. Is equal to so minus is equal to minus. 190. This is the value of the determinant. 
by reducing the matrix to a triangular form. Value of this value of this determinant is minus one ninety. We found this determinant by reducing the given matrix to the triangular form. <coughs> Next uh, property of determinants. It is property of cofactors. Property of cofactors. Uh, we have studied if you multiply a row by its cofactors and add them, then we get determinant of the matrix. That is the square matrix into a row, take here, and then the cofactors take here, multiply and add here. Then we get determinant of A. Now, if we take a row of a matrix A, take cofactors of another row of the matrix. Take a row of a matrix, take cofactors of another row of the matrix, multiply them, add them, then we get zeros. <coughs> that is uh, AI1 into CI1 plus AI2 into CI2 plus a i n into c i n this is equal to determinant a. this a i 1 a i 2 a i n are elements of the i throw c i 1 is cofactor of a i 1 c i 2 is cofactor of a i 2 etcetera c i n is cofactor of a i n then multiply them add them we obtain determinant of a that, that we studied earlier now if we take cofactors of another row, that is AI1 into CK1, AI2 into CK2 plus etc., AIN into CKN, this is equal to 0 if I is not equal to K. Here, a i1, a i2, etc., a n are elements of i throw of a square matrix. This c k1, c k2, c k n are, these are cofactors of cofactor. c k1 is cofactor of a k1, c k2 is cofactor of a k2, c k n is cofactor of a k2. This is c k1, c k2, c k n are cofactors of another row. If I not equal to k, then multiply them, add them, then we get this is equal to 0. Similarly, for columns, <coughs> a1j into c1j plus a2j into c2j plus etc., anj into cnj, this is equal to determinant of a a1 j a2 j etc a and j are elements of j th column c1 j is cofactor of a1 j c2 j is cofactor of c2 j a2 j c n j is cofactor of a n j multiply them add them we get determinant of a now if we take a column and cofactors of another column multiply them add them we get zero this is a1 j into C1K plus A2J into C2K plus etc. ANJ into CNK. C is equal to so. Here <coughs> we multiply the jth column of the matrix J with cofactors of the kth column of the matrix A. <coughs> One column take here, 
where we want the cofactors take here multiply them add them we get zero similarly for rows take a row take cofactors of another row multiply them add them we get zero same row same cofactors are angry multiply the add the determinant here and return one row in where row of cofactors multiply the add the we get the we get the value is equal to zero example uh, like uh, a is equal to it is 1 minus 1 2 2 minus 1 Minus one, three minus one minus two. Suppose uh, here the first row is a one one is equal to one, a one two is equal to minus one, a one three is equal to two. Now we find uh, cofactors of we find cofactors of third row. So this is the element. This is the element a three one. A three one. This is the element A three one. So its cofactor is C three one is equal to minus one raised to three plus one into minor of this element. It is determinant of minus one to minus one minus one. It is one into one plus two is equal to three. C is equal to three. C is C three. C three two is equal to minus one raised to three plus two into minor. Minor is minor of this element. It is one to one to two minus. Minor of this element is one to two minus. It is equal to It is minus one into minus one minus four is minus five. C is equal to five. C three two C three two is equal to five. C three three. This cofactor of a three three. C three three is cofactor of a three three. Cofactor of this element minus two. So minus one raised to three into minor determinant of Determinant of one minus one. Determinant of one minus one. Two minus one. It is minus one plus six one. One into it is minus one plus two. It is equal to one. <coughs> so we uh, take the first row. Take cofactors of third row. Multiply them. Add. Multiply them. Add them. A one one into C three one plus A one two into C three two plus A one three into C three three. So it's equal to A one one it is one into C three one is three A one two minus one into C three two is equal to five. A one three is two. Two into C three three is equal to one. So we add is equal to three mi three minus five plus two. C is equal to zero. If we are talking about the example, we are going to verify the question. The one is if we take any square matrix, any row. If you take any square matrix, any row, other row and cofactors will multiply the added value. We get determinant A. One row, I mean, do where row and cofactors will multiply the added value zero. That is it. But in this example, take first row, take cofactors of third row, multiply the added value zero. Similarly, if you take second row. Uh, Take the cofactors of third row, multiply them, add them, we get zeros. Similarly for columns, one row, where a column has the cofactors, multiply them, add them, zero. 
ഒരു കോളവും അതേ കോളത്തിൻ്റെ കോപ്പേറ്റ് ആഡ് ചെയ്താൽ ഡിറ്റർമിനൻ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ കൊടുക്കും ദിസ് ഇസ് എ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഓഫ് ഡിറ്റർമിനൻ ഇഫ് ഈ ടേക്ക് എ റോ ഓഫ് എ മെട്രിക്സ് ടേക്ക് കോഫാക്ടോസ് ഓഫ് അനദർ റോ ഇഫ് ഈ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ദം ആഡ് ദം ബിഗർ സീറോസ് ഇഫ് ഈ ടേക്ക് എ കോളം ഓഫ് എ മെട്രിക്സ് ടേക്ക് കോഫാക്ടോസ് ഓഫ് അനദർ കോളം ഓഫ് ദ സെയിം മെട്രിക്സ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ദം ആഡ് ദം ബിഗർ സീറോസ് 